Eita que o negócio tá pegando fogo, mano. Eu acabei de postar, né? Acabei de postar um vídeo falando sobre né, a versão de Playstation 4 de God of War Ragnarok e a Playstation já cacetou um vídeo enorme aí de 9 minutos falando sobre a evolução do combate e dos inimigos do jogo. É óbvio que a gente iria fazer um react, iria assistir juntos e dar algumas considerações. Então bora lá, deixa o seu like. Espero que vocês estejam gostando dessa avalanche de conteúdo de God of War que está chegando aqui no canal. Comentem que é muito importante para nos dar um norte, tá? Então bora lá, vamos ver qual é que é desse vídeo da Playstation que eu estou bem curioso e ansioso para ver. Bora aí. From a combat perspective, I always and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War game is combat. Oh boy. My name is uh, Roberto Clemente, and uh, all my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm a senior combat animator here at Sony Santa Monica. My name is Kim Nguyen, and I'm a gameplay animator. Hi, I'm Sabra, and I'm a senior VFX artist on God of War Ragnarok. My name is Grace Pan, and I'm a gameplay animator in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Steven Ohawa GBA, combat designer on God of War. And I create interesting and memorable creatures that players like to attack and defend against. As an animator, you gave life to characters. You make them move, you gave them personalities, you gave them weight. My role as a VFX artist is to put the power behind a move. You are in control of fire and earth and water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, VFX is what really gives the movement and the danger to every move that a character or enemy makes. I work really closely with the design team and the tech art team on this project specifically. We actually work a lot with camera, along with the guidance of our great camera team. So I find myself doing fight choreography sometimes. One of the most challenging parts about being a combat designer isn't the technical implementation of creating a creature, but it's really navigating that line between frustrating and engaging. We want to make something that makes players lean forward and focus and really try hard against that enemy and feel good about overcoming that, but we don't want to make them feel defeated if they can't figure something out. And then it feels rewarding when you win, not because it was impossible, but because it was fun and engaging. Que louco isso, velho. Nossa, After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures, and enemy variety. And this time, we really leaned into that. So in God of War Ragnarok, you're going to be traveling to all nine realms, and each realm is going to have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. For example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this time around, we're going to be fighting Light Elves, such as the Light Elf Warrior. <laughs> Caraca, the galera, desculpa, desculpa, já. Is we don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is going to feel. We already have that. Caramba, cadê meu mouse? So build upon... Não, pera aí, mano. We don't have to. Think... Desculpa, a gente vai vendo junto e vai. Cara, a gente vai lutar contra elfo luminoso. Eu tinha visto numas imagens, né? Mas eu não, eu Kalil, eu não tinha noção de que aqueles eram elfo luminosos e que tinham Duas espadas e que os caras lutavam feito samurai, velho. Ninja, sei lá o quê. Olha isso aqui, velho. O, olha isso aqui. Ó, vou colocar aqui em... Tem como... Uh... Eu, não, eu não manjo, cara. Aqui, ó. Velocidade. Velocidade. Mano, olha isso aqui. Ó, pô. Uou! Mas não é isso não. Volta um pouquinho, é antes disso. É na hora que esse bicho ataca. Olha isso aqui, mano. Olha lá, cara, os bagulho com duas espadas. Vem rodopiando no girocóptero, bate no escudo e toma. Mano, olha que boneco bonito. Nossa, velho. Que louco isso. Porque, bom... A gente sabe no final do. No final não, né? É, no final da missão em, em Alfheim, né? Que 
o elfo escuro lá, o Bubaquina, né? que a gente bate nele lá, ele fala que a gente escolheu o lado errado, né? E que, na verdade, né? Bom, pelo menos, né? O que dá a se entender é que os elfos claros, os luminosos, são os maus. E aqui a gente vai lutar contra esses caras, mano. Olha isso. E os bichos vêm no girocóptero metendo louco com a espada. Nossa, que louco. Isso aqui é cena nova, galera. Eu não tinha visto. Pelo menos eu não tinha visto essa cena ainda, não. Vamos lá. Desculpem, tá? Ascada War Game. Is we don't have to think about the camera. Oh, agora os elfos combat is gonna feel. We already have that knowledge, so we can build upon the close camera that we have, and we can iterate on enemies, creating more interesting scenarios. Olha aí, ó. Eu não tinha reparado, mano, nisso aí. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos, and he was learning from the master tactician. So in this game, he's trying to prove himself a little bit more, and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God of War, Atreus was still a kid, right? So he has a lot of dependency on his father. And for this game, you will see Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the God of War. É. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blade Caraca, was velho, quanta cena better, nova, mano. Look at that. Olha aqui, mais uma, ó, uma porrada de cena nova aqui, ó. Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. Isso é novo, não tinha visto isso. Mano, pegar a pedra e mandar nos bagulho, olha que louco, ó. Oh. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the God of War. And moving into Ragnarok, Olha aí, mano, o elfo de novo, bigger, com espada. Spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, Toma. I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. Nossa, as Kratos gets more powerful, he's going to have access to newer combos and newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. For the Blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of Wars is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very excited. Vorta, olha aí, mano. One of the moves that I've really enjoyed. Galera, a gente vai ver assim, tá? A gente vai ver comentando. Você quer ver sem comentário nenhum? Tá lá na página da PlayStation lá. A gente vai comentar aqui, mano. Ó. Oh. Bateu, bateu, puxou. Cena nova essa aqui de novo. Eles defendem, mano. Olha lá. Defendeu e você... Igual as Valkyrias quando fechavam assim com as asas. Deve ter né, uma maneira de quebrar com o escudo também. Igual a gente fazia com a Valkyria, algo assim. Ou, olha lá. <risos> ah, que louco. I'm very excited for players to try the blade grapple traversal moves that brings so much more speed into the movement and the dynamic feel to it. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos combat this time around is we've given more utility and choice to a shield loadout. If you are a parry person, you could really go for a shield ah, like your sports parry. Oh, bicho, oh, if you're bicho. a blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your play style. One new mechanic right <risos> Aquele bicho, mano, que no, no trailer eu, eu, eu falei, nossa, caramba, eu quero ver. É, esse, esse, esse inimigo, né, tal, ele, ele era, pelo menos no trailer, né, ele era roxo, mais voltado por, pra cor escura e tal. Aquele tá dourado. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos. Uma das formas que como a gente expandiu o combate, combate is we've given more utility and choice. Ó, cena nova batendo out. nos elfos escuro. If you are a parry person, you could really go. Olha esse cara. Esse que eu tava falando para vocês e aquele tá dourado. Será que tem duas classes? Mano, que bicho louco, irmão. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about is these combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. <gasps> You're going to be able to choose, you know, which weapon you want to have when you kill a guy. Another... Man, they... They're not showing too much, no, man. 
<risos> Será que esse jogo precisa de tanto mais hype do que já tá, mano? Eu acho que eles estão mostrando muito, cara. Feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. You Nossa, could jump off a ledge, isso, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. There's such an emphasis on verticality in some of these fights that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have so much mobility and that you can also take Cara, advantage of that verticality, it's pulo, just mano. Such another interesting layer to a fight. Esse God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Olá. Some of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now, he's bigger now. Mano, tá, lo from tá lotado de cena nova esse trailer, que lindo, mano. Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. <laughs> Not only that they fight side by side together, um, there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments. For example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces, you definitely will see a lot more collaborations between father and son. A chegada das duas Valkyrias. There is so much that goes into building a big set piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically, every department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before 2018. There were so many amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me on my time on this project. For the old father! Our design philosophy for creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has its own theme and its own use. You need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. There's a couple of different ways that we go into making an attack very readable for the player. Sometimes we add a signature audio cue, or we'll add the different rings, such Olha as what we do in this game, that lets you know that this attack is unblockable, you need to dodge it. Cara, que There's louco! There's so many different ways that the effects really helps not just show what an enemy is about to do, but show who the enemy really is. Everything you design has to be surrounding the essence of the character and a story. It's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. Olha lá, o centauro, mano. From small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. All of their designs run the gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And so I think if you are really into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see uh -huh. how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of War. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it and intent behind it. And by the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen that you're going to play and experience has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and it's fun to play. <risos> que que é isso, mano? Caraca! Galera, eu achei animal, animal. E confesso, né, mano, que tipo, caras, eu acho que eles mostraram até coisas demais, tá ligado? Mas, pô, mano, que absurdo, cara. Não, não, cara, quando você acha que não tem como hypar mais, os caras vêm e prova que sim. Tem como hypar mais e pega aí essas cenas aí. Velho, que absurdo as cenas de combate que foram mostradas aqui, cara. Principalmente eu achei da hora a questão da verticalidade do cenário. A toda hora você vai subir, descer. Aqueles pulos que o Kratos dá, pá! 
com o machado, com a lâmina, sem nada, com a mão, a gente viu também. Mano, agora você de decapita os caras, detona... Já tinha algumas coisas assim no 2018, mas pelo que eles estão dando a entender aqui, é que o negócio vai ser ainda mais cabeludo, tá ligado? E isso é muito bom, isso é muito bom, cara. Pô, tô animado, tô muito feliz com esse... Com esse... Sneak peek, é assim que fala? Vocês me ensinem aí, tô aprendendo. <risos> Mas é, mano, nessa olhada aí, pá, nessa, que eles mostraram pra gente, esse pequeno trecho de combate que realmente, cara, eles estão completamente certos. Pr principalmente esse cara aí, o Roberto Clemente, o que ele falou, cara, no início. Que, cara, God of War é o combate, cara. E se isso não for divertido, se isso não for atrativo, o jogo mia. E pelo jeito, eu tô bem confiante que tá pra lá de atrativo. Galera, o negócio tá bom, hein? Eu mal posso esperar pra jogar esse game e trazer conteúdo a partir do dia 9, né? Quando o jogo lançar, vocês, cara, vocês se preparem. Nós teremos um novembro literalmente fimboentado. <risos> Sim, mano, nós vamos ter o Ragnarok aqui no canal de tudo quanto é lado. Se preparem, tá? Obrigado mais uma vez pelo carinho, pela força, pela energia. Um beijo no coração. Até a próxima, pessoal. Tchau, tchau.